Hello chess lovers. This endgame study was composed by Mikhail Tal and Ernest Pogosians. It's white to move and win the game. You can pause the video and try to find the solution. But first, before showing the answer, I would like to speak a few words about this puzzle. I think that you all know who was Mikhail Tal and for those who do not know about Pogosians. Ernest Pogosians was an Armenian grandmaster for chess compositions. He composed about 6000 problems and studies. This is just an impressive result. Here is what Mikhail Tal told about this puzzle. We were analyzing a very interesting position where I was trying to prove that white is winning. And my colleague international master Eduard Pogosians thought that the position looked drawish. But eventually I managed to find effective variations and prove that I was right. And Pogosians turned our analysis into a pretty chess puzzle. Let's see how it goes. Knight d4 double check. King e1. Well, if king d1 then queen b1 checkmate. We see king e1. And now white queen is starting to maneuver in order to target the weaknesses of black king. Queen h2. Now the threat is knight c2 check and then capturing only 3. King d1. Queen h7. Choosing this b1 h7 diagonal in order to attack black king. King e1. Queen h4 check. Now black has two options either to play queen f2 or king d1. Let's have a look at this variation starting with king d1. Now comes queen e4. Queen e1 check. King b3. Queen f2. Queen b1 check. King d2. Queen c2 check. King e1 and queen c1 checkmate. Let's go back. What if after queen h4 check black plays queen f2. Now comes knight c2 check. King e2. Queen h5 check. King f1. Queen h1 check. If king e2 then knight d4 and this is a checkmate. And if queen g1 then queen f3 check. Queen f2. Knight takes e3 check. King g1. Queen d1 check, king h4, and knight g4 check. Forking the king and the queen and white is winning. Your comments and questions please. And thanks for watching.